Welcome back to News 10 at 9. We're over here in the Tech Center with Ryan Eldridge from Nerds on Call, and he's joining us because there are some th some things about the new Windows 7 out there, even the Mac, but we'll talk about that later, that it does that most of us don't even know about. Yeah, you know, Windows 8's about to come out in mm -hmm. just a couple of weeks, so everybody's really excited, but nobody really knows all the ins and outs of their computer like a nerd does, and so we have a lot of <laughs> secrets that not everybody uses. So, for an example, one of the banes of my existence on the internet these days is usernames and passwords for every place I go, from yep. email to websites to amazon.com so windows has a built-in uh, manager for all of your credentials it's called windows credential manager okay so you can use it for saving your usernames and passwords for all the places you go shopping you can use it for all the places that you go on different uh, networks on your on your system so it's a really fantastic thing you can use just all one username and one password to manage everything on there so another cool, really cool feature is uh, your Windows key. Not a lot of people know uh, the functions of the Windows key. Everybody's used to the control P, control C to print and to copy things, but the Windows key has some pretty amazing functions. Just pressing it once by itself will open up your search or it will open up your start menu. Press that and press F and all of a sudden your search functions will come up and your cute little dog, of course. And then Aww. if you use your Windows key and the D button, you'll bring up your desktop. And of course, if you use it while you've got other windows open, you can use the up key, up arrow plus the windows key to maximize windows, to minimize windows, and to make them left and right, depending on what application you're in. So some really cool hidden functions. You just blew my mind. <laughs> well, because we didn't have Word open or anything, but, uh, but I use the I use uh, usually two or three programs at a time. So uh -huh. like I'll have Word on one side of my screen and I'll have Excel on another side of my screen, and it's kind of a pain to kind of match those yeah, up. Yeah, it's kind of hard to... And so just using that Windows button left, you can push it directly to the left, and Windows button right pushes it directly to the right, and you got your screen perfectly symmetrical. Okay. So, and you know, I'm a symmetrical kind of guy. did we trust the credential manager with the passwords and everything? Because we've got some sensitive information. Well, I would trust it more than like your browser. You know when you put in your username and password in a browser and you get that little pop-up that says, hey, you want to remember this? The problem with that is you, you, as soon as you go to another computer, your computer dies, you're messed up. You know, oh, you're, you're not going to get all okay. that stuff. But you can transfer all of the credential manager stuff directly to a thumb drive, transfer it to another computer, and save all of that information, and you won't lose any of it, which That's is really good cool. stuff. Ryan Eldridge, Nerds on Call. Thank you so much. Hey, Ashton's welcome. got like 18 computers over there. You can probably help him fix or I, break I, I've one been, of those. I've been going across every one of these keyboards hitting the Windows key on every <laughs> one of them. Windows, Windows D, Windows L, I'm trying everything. All right, cool.